Good morning everybody. Going to um, try, I've done this before, I think I've done it on video. I'm going to be using my hair dryer so you might have paint hit the um, screen knowing me because it doesn't usually go to plan as you all know. So I've actually poured just white over a canvas that I wasn't that happy with so I'm just going to repurpose the canvas which you can do and it works out fine. Um, just give it a good wipe down before to make sure that there's no traces of silicon under there. This one I'm going to paint the sides a different color after I see what I get from this. So I'm gonna put a pillar of white there and I'm going to layer it's a mixture of, they're all global paints, but some are global metallics and some are glo just global um, studio acrylics. So this is purple. I'm going to put the, this is the metallic violet, I believe. I've got, I'll put the colours in the um, photo of the colours up there as well. I will put some of this metallic, it's like a, a dusky pink. And I want something, and this is with the turquoise, I want to put something a little bit more, even more vibrant in there. Uh, rah, 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 what vibrant, brilliant red, brilliant red. Okay, I will put some of this green, which is just deep green. Okay, bear with me. All will be revealed, or if not like normally happens, it goes AWOL and then I have to change the plan. So, as I said, they were... Some of them were metallics, which were the Montmartre metallics. Those I'll, I'll write the colours beside them and put the colours on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. So they were Montmartre, and I'm, these are the Montmartre. These are all the colours that I've made up. So in the next few pieces of work that you'll see that I put on my YouTube channel, they'll have incorporated some, not all of these colours. So that's what I'm working with in the next few days. So I'll move that canvas out of the way. I'm going to put some white, 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 plenty of white around to try and... I don't know if I should put the white over this with my spatula. Ooh. I'm getting all kind of messy and maybe see I'm trying to use these rubber gloves instead of the disposable gloves um, they're a little bit more cumbersome than using the the disposable gloves obviously are there a lot thinner okay no it looks messy doesn't it but hopefully I'm going to do it on the diagonal now you'll either end up with paint on the lens and you'll all have a good laugh at me, which is fine, I don't mind that, because this is, oh, okay. I suppose it would be good if I actually, I suppose it would work if I actually plugged the blooming hairdryer in. That would be a good idea. Silly jilly. Okay, let's give this a go. Gotta have. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh my goodness. 
a crazy colour blow, blow around wasn't it? Uh, I just I was going to recolour the sides after but I will give it I will give it a hit with my Gun, magic wand. See what I come up with. I don't want too many cells in that, but it'd be nice if some like lace. Oh yes, lacing came up, which is lovely, 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 lovely. I mean, not for everybody's taste, but again, I'm trying to do something different for you all. Do, 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 do. This might dry a lot nicer than it actually looks at present time, but I wanted to do it on the diagonal, but I've obviously blown more over that way than the other, which I could go and blow again, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it, leave it be. <laughs> Except for, she says, just see what this baby baby water balloon this is a little water balloon filled with water and I just want to have a little play to see just down the center like the diagonal on the diagonal if I can bring some pretties up which yes I can bring the pretties up look at that Ooh, actually that's really nice and um, delicate, unlike me, but it is quite delicate. Oh, that's actually very nice. You know, the perfect person that will love this. It's funny, you can, sometimes when you're doing a piece, you just know as soon as you see it, who that person's gonna fit for exactly I'm gonna leave it like that I like that that more colors there and the white big negative space over there I'll probably oh stuff this up because I never put a tray underneath I'm going way ahead I'm trying to, my mind is going way ahead than my hands crazy woman okay that's really pretty isn't it it's a quick little video but it's a really pretty little one just adding that little bit of water balloon embellishment okay lovely thanks for joining me more than anything thank you for watching thanks for subscribing to my channel and giving me lovely comments I like hearing from you all I certainly read everything if I may not get back to answering you all um, but yeah, please join me on my Acrylic Art by Julie Cube Facebook page and I can answer any more questions that you get over there. But yeah, please subscribe, share, follow and let's go on this crazy art journey together. Till next time. Experiment take 34. <laughs> I'm just uh, rolling my camera at the moment because I'm doing an experiment and I don't want it to turn out something absolutely unbelievable and then um, I've used some of this sort of black grey that I've had made up in this container for a long time and I'm pouring around the edge I will just this is over the top of a canvas that I wasn't happy with so I'm just taking you through this experiment with me if it turns out great if it doesn't but at least I've got a video record of it as well to see how it goes that was milk paint there poured in a now I've added some purple bright yellow turquoise and magenta to this cup and I'm going to do a kind of um waterfall pour I'm just going to do the 
I'm just gonna see. I just want to see if I can get what I can get to come up because I've got the water, the milk paint as a base, as a pillow kind of thing under there. Nothing might look any different than normal. This is a bright color waterfall color a uh, piece of art, isn't it? Before I start, so I've got flies going everywhere. I don't know why because at this particular place where we live in Queensland we don't normally get too many flies but we've just had really big storms and it's just coming into springtime so they're probably just all coming out now I don't know but they always come around when I'm painting that's for sure I just want to see what I get. If the milk paint underneath giving me a, a a blanket of milk paint underneath gives you actually any different outcome when you do this kind of pour. So just for the record I thought I would film it in case it come out you beaut super duper and I probably should let you see it no matter what. Just um, see what you think because often what I think is gorgeous uh, other people don't so then that's the beauty of it all isn't it we've got different tastes but love that kind of effect here but I don't see at this point in time that the milk paint underneath as a bed is sort of creating anything but you don't know till you've let things sit a little while and do their thing oh, I don't want to run that nice colors off but I need to stretch it and then I can try and take it back just before it stretches off there we go take it back take it back take it back yeah I just thought that putting it on top of, of the milk paint might have given it some other crazy cool effect because you have to I love I love experimenting and trying so what I'm going to do now is just add some heat I better get that bit of plastic out of the way and I've just realized I haven't got my light on here so it may be pretty dark for you guys watching the video oh <laughs> look at that that's happening Maybe the milk paint is going to burst through in some weird and wonderful way. Look at that. That's actually um, coming a bit, a bit cool. Okay. Now I'll add some heat first before I do anything further. My butane torch. Ew. Okay. Got a, got a real big wind blowing through here at the minute. Just decided to kick up. Well, sending it a bit muddy actually. Not a good, not a good, um, ah! Oh my goodness, I've just put, oh, flop it just put the balloon on me that was covered in paint oh my god and I only just took my apron off too another top I've ruined silly jilly okay all good well that wasn't exactly <laughs> what I was going for but there's some kind of pretty weird cells coming up in there I might bungle all these videos together of my trials into one video so you can skip along for the things that you don't want to not interested in or stay but yeah we'll do a bit of see what the balloony effect brings up in it mud that's what the balloon effect brings up mud okay Well, that was a bit of a bit of a disaster, but 
live and learn, live and learn. So that was with a bed of the milk paint underneath. I have done um, a milk paint pour for the cloud effect and got some really cool effects out of it. But not today. It's not my day. You can see this kind of fracturing as you press the balloon in. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Not very happy with that. No. So I might just add it on to another video just to show you. Uh, some like crazy flowers are appearing out of that. So I could do a few more balloon dips. I'll just do a balloon dip, dip in the colour because actually some like fracturing. So it's cut it, sort of creating um, the petal. Where's my balloon gone? Uh, petal, petal look, but you wouldn't go to all this trouble to just do a balloon dip in this because you can get the same balloon kiss look to be far more effective this has just gone no it's just going a bit muddy not my favorite but i'll put it in there as a learning video i might tag a few disaster videos in one but thank you for joining me <laughs> sorry for the disaster but i'm trying new things so see you again next time